This is Transformers Voyager Class C Spray. Uh, this figure ushers in the new wave of Transformers figures, uh, which is uh, the Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons uh, series. Um, he's a Voyager Class, and he's a great figure. But before we begin, let's get him out of the picture for now. And let me just quickly show you the packaging, the new packaging. So, as you can see, it is a more efficient packaging. The figure comes packed in his robot mode with the alt mode right there and a sticker that says Hunt for Decepticon, Hunt for the, the Decepticons, Transformers.com. That's the new promo that Hasbro has where you can go online and just do the game. Uh, also, you will notice that it, the logo has just been, is just um, says Transformers. And the Revenge of the Fallen uh, tagline has been omitted, but the the logo retains the uh, movie uh, 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 design or the movie theme uh, because it's metallic and and that and whatnot. Uh, the whole packaging is gold, amber, sort of circuits in that have been brightly lit. You get the artwork here is bio, uh, more uh, artwork or a Photoshop artwork. Uh, and another figure in the wave, uh, Night Ops Ratchet. So very nice. I like the whole new efficient look of, of the new figures, uh, especially this one. I think the robot mode packaging will attract uh, more buyers for this figure. Uh, we will last. We I think we first saw the this kind of packaging with the um, uh, Optimus Prime repaint. Uh, uh, that, that came in the wave of mind wipe the uh, I forgot what the name was but he was packed he was there was an alternate packaging that had Optimus Prime in his robot mode uh, but uh, albeit with diff with the Revenge of the Fallen themed uh, packaging but anyway that's not important uh, the, the box also comes with this an instruction manual uh, that has a code uh, for the hunt for the Decepticons game and then you can you can follow the instructions and just just play the game or the promo. That's that. Uh, another point, uh, important thing that I, I thought was important or very prominent to, to point out in this particular figure is that uh, he comes obviously with an instruction booklet uh, which tells you how to transform from robot to alt mode. But what's, what's really striking is that if you flip the back, it shows you how to transform from alt mode into robot mode and it just doesn't say just reverse the order and you'll transform it so very thoughtful of Hasbro to do that they didn't have to do that but they did so kudos to Hasbro on to Sea Spray uh, it's a great figure uh, very articulate um, uh, let me just lower the camera a bit okay I like I like this figure very I find very little flaw in him. Uh, the colors sort of they're they're a loose they're loosely based on the G1 Sea Spray which was a mini bot was also an aquatic uh, Autobot but uh, the yellow has been replaced with this uh, mustard like beige uh, which is not entirely too bad. I know I know some people have been complaining about this kind of brown or beige color on, on from pics on the internet and videos of the New York Toy Fair, but I, I like it, you know, it'll grow on you. I like the white color, uh, some silver on him, and blue. Uh, you get to see a lot of these things on him. It says CSP Ray. It's a nice sort of, uh, I don't know, Coast Guard or Naval uh, type of writing or code, that, but it really just says Sea Spray, so I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, he comes, wait, let me just talk about the articulation before we do anything else. Uh, he's got ratcheting joints everywhere, ball jointed head, ratcheting joints on the shoulders and on the hips. He's got swivel bice biceps and swivel uh, thighs. He's got hinge elbows and knees. Uh, his feet are actually very articulate. They do swivel on the ankle, which which allows you to give him um, very neat poses. Uh, he comes with these fold away flippers, since he is a uh, a marine Autobot, and the heel. The heels do fold uh, fold down for extra support, but uh, if you want, if you're not really going to display him in, in a an FX France pose, then you can just, I guess, fold up the feet so that he's 
a lot leaner. He will stand even if you, you don't fold him out. So very nice. Oh, I forgot to mention the, the wrists also rotate. The guns will fit on his forearm underneath or on his fists, which, which is a nice touch, I think. Um, they do fire a fair amount of, of strength, so be careful you don't lose them. Even the sculpt of the, uh, the missiles is just really interesting. The only problem I have, I guess, very small problem, is that he doesn't have waist articulation, mainly due to transformation, but that's not a big deal. So, very nice. Um, um, I liked him in pictures, and I like him now. He is made to look like a scuba trooper uh, for the Autobots. He's got his scuba gear type of head sculpt with the air, with the uh, breathing apparatus and, and the face mask. Even on the back, he has these... Um, uh, they look like tanks, oxygen tanks, which is very nice. The... Uh, the propellers louver up and down and even to the side they louver up and down mostly so that you can play with him as though he was uh, swimming underwater which is nice okay so that's that so to transform him uh, what you want to do is first you want to fold out his backpack like so fold these uh, tanks up and then uh, okay uh, huh, fold out the propellers so that's that. Um, fold out these panels. Um, fold out these uh, panels right here. Uh, and then what you want to do is just really cover up, um, cover up his face, and then just collapse the shoulders on top of his head. Uh, well, it's best if you fold it this way, and then just snap them in. Very nice. Uh, and then what you want to do is just lock in the arms with the backpack, the forearms with the backpack, like so. Do the same on the other side. Okay, that's the back. Okay. And then the legs. The legs are a little bit tricky, but very uh, but manageable. The transformation is a little bit involved overall, but I like it. It's a little bit challenging, but not too annoying. Uh, what you want to do is you want to fold up the waist piece this way. Fold up the thighs this way. Be careful that you don't put any stress too much on, on the hips, like what I did. It's a little bit of a, a stress mark right there. Anyway, and then just fold up the legs this way and just snap everything in nicely. Okay. Now you can mount his guns back where you where we where took them out from. It's just easier to transform this figure without the guns on. Um, just the the pieces do snap in tightly and almost seamlessly everywhere. I like that. It's very nice. Uh, he has small wheel that allow him to roll. He is like sort of a hovercraft, um, just like in G1. So he rolls very well, uh, albeit not on a carpeted surface. You need a smooth surface. He has a gangplank that you can fold up like so, or fold down to allow scout class figures. Uh, right now I have Beachcomber. Uh, you can roll him up this way and then fold it up to secure the figure. Uh, very nice. Uh, he, he's a uh, a decent sized uh, Voyager class figure. Uh, overall, the paint scheme, the details, even the uh, the transparent plastic they use on this guy is very nice. I, I'm not even bothered with the uh, the brownish beiges, the beige mustard like color. I, it's fine. Um, I like this figure. I was really looking forward to him, and I was not disappointed. So. I think you guys are probably going to enjoy this, especially if you're movie and universe uh, fans, because this thing is sort of a combination of a classics universe type of, of Transformer with a movie Transformer. He's not too alien looking, he's not too boxy looking. So, so far, so far, so good. The first uh, outing for the new line of Transformers figures, very nice. I, I give this a very good rating, easily a 5 out of 5. So there you have it, um, Transformers Voyager Sea Spray. Thanks for watching.